I'm gonna to talk to you today about is fishing underwater grass edges and underwater grass points along shorelines uh, and the shoreline drop-offs. It's really hot, water temperature is bumping 88 degrees by the end of the day, starting out about 85 in the morning. Tides are low. Today we have a northeast wind, which is pretty rare for the month of June, but we've got a little system in the Gulf that's generating that wind for us. What my setup today is I've got an area out in front of me, got lots and lots of bait on it, but it's got an offshore, underwater, very defined grass edge with grass, underwater grass points that stick out off of that grass edge. And in between the underwater points and the grass edge, there's little bitty, uh, what we call current breaks and, and little washouts. Those are areas where fish can set up and ambush bait as it's moving along the shoreline. As we've talked about in some of our other uh, videos, we know that in a northeast wind, the fish are gonna be probably training into the wind. We've talked about bending your cast. We've talked about setting up inside uh, and casting offshore at angles to those grass edges. What I'll tell you today is, as the morning progresses, those bigger fish will slide up to the protection and the security of that grass. All right, we got lots of predators out here. Number one, porpoises, they're really, really bad. And so they'll slide up next to that grass and they'll hold because when they hold, that porpoise's echolocation doesn't locate them as well when they're sitting still and when they're masked by some structure as it does when they're moving. So what I've noticed the last couple of days is that when I cast out off of the break and I bring it back to that grass edge, I'll take that lure, whatever it is I'm throwing, and I'll let it almost dust or touch the edge of that grass. And many times, right as it touches that grass or right as it comes in contact with that submerged grass edge or that uh, underwater point, that's when you get that bump, that's when you get that take. Now, what we observed yesterday was those fish would take it on that grass, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't turn and run with it. They'd take it and they'd shoot right at you. So my people were missing lots of fish because they would feel the hit. They would immediately jerk, which telegraphs the fish, which puts her in a defensive mode instead of offensive mode. And, you know, offensive sounds like, <laughs> defensive sounds like, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So what I was having them do is, I was having them flip it out there, dust the bottom with it till it came in contact with the grass. As soon as they felt the strike, just reel down and keep the rod, keep the line tight and reel into the fish. Just reel into the fish. The rod would load, reel into the fish. The fish would feel a very consistent pull. Wouldn't shock her so she wouldn't immediately come up and shake or spit. She would turn left or right. When she turns left or right, that hook goes into the hinge and then you can set the hook, okay? 